that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, hey guys, I'm just rummaging through some old family recipes. This one happens to be from my mom, one from my mom's mom, and one from my mom's mom's mom, which got me thinking about my family tree. On Ancestry.com, I actually could pinpoint all of my family members and things that I probably didn't even know about these women and all their little secrets, their fun recipes. I think you guys should go check it out. It's at Ancestry.com, the link is below. Find something new that you didn't know about your family. It might be really interesting to know that. And it made me think about this recipe we're gonna make today. A pink lemonade bundt cake. Welcome to Love Lady Cakes. It's me, Chef Anna. And like I said before, we're making a pink lemonade bundt cake today. And first, we're gonna need to sift all of our dry ingredients and then set it off to the side. So our very first ingredient we're gonna sift is two and three-fourths cup of flour. two and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Now just add three fourths teaspoon of salt in with the flour. Ooh. Okay guys, we're breaking out the KitchenAid and we're gonna use our paddle attachment because we're creaming together one cup of butter. If you don't have a KitchenAid with your paddle attachment or whatnot, you can use your electric mixer or just use your hand. Your muscles work as well. cream this for about good two minutes and in between then what do I always say scrape down the sides of the bowl because we don't want any clumps all right next we need to add our two cups of granulated sugar in with the butter this is called creaming and we need to do that for two minutes Don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl again. It's a lot of scraping. Next, we're gonna add four eggs one at a time. For the next ingredient, we're gonna need one tablespoon of lemon zest. Yeah, that's right, the rind of a lemon. Sounds weird, but it actually brings out the flavor ooh, so well in our little bundt cake. And I have a little microplane here that will help peel it off, or you can just use a knife and chop it up really finely. All right guys, our next ingredient is going to be one cup of pink lemonade, but don't pour it in yet. We're alternating this between the flour that we have set aside, all of our dries, and the pink lemonade in three parts. like pink lemonade. But wait guys, it doesn't look pink. What you need to do is add pink food coloring to the batter. Ooh, that 
looks more like it. And so do my fingers. All right guys, our batter is complete. So now we need to stick it in a bunt pan. A bunt pan usually has a hole in the middle of it, but I don't have one. I just happen to have this crazy little sunflower. And if you guys don't have a bunt pan, just use any type of pan around the house. So now we need to spray it down and then pour our batter right inside. Today I went crazy and floured and buttered the inside of my pan. You can just use regular spray butter or try it the old fashioned granny way like I did. So now we're gonna be baking this bundt cake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. In you go. All right guys, we're making the frosting that goes on our bundt cake. What we'll need is one half cup of melted butter, melted butter. So now add three cups of powdered sugar. Now pour the melted butter in with the powdered sugar. Now add one half cup of your pink lemonade so the icing tastes just like the cake. Now I'm gonna add one to two more cups of powdered sugar. You are gonna actually tell the consistency of thickness you want, because actually you want it really runny to just drizzle right over your bundt cake. So let's try one cup. I would recommend sifting your powdered sugar. Mine was a little clumpy, so there might be some clumps in mine. Oh no, it's not done! Oh no, our batter is still a little goopy on my stick here, which means I just need to bake it for another 15 minutes. Hey guys, look! Our bun cake is completely cooled. While it was cooling, I went out for a little jog. But next we're gonna add our icing, which means if your icing is a little thick, stick it over a double boiler. It'll help make it nice and thin so we can drizzle on our bun cake. for a taste test. Me! I bet it's gonna be good. I don't even need to taste it. Okay, just kidding. I'm totally eating this. Mmm. <sighs> the zestiness of those lemon zests with the pink lemonade. So very yummy. And thanks guys so much for watching how to make this pink lemonade bundt cake video. Please favorite and like this video because it helps and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye! Hi guys and welcome to this week's Cake Talk. Last week I asked you guys, what are you making for your fall treats? And Dark Jewel 11219 said they're making orange and black checkerboard cookies. And Nicole Neverin said that they're making fruit salad with pumpkin seeds. And Daniel Owen made a rainbow cake with cotton candy frosting. Oh my goodness, check out his pics that he left on my Facebook page. Speaking of Facebook pictures, let's check out everybody's pictures they left this week. And A Blue left these really cool vanilla cupcakes with Hershey's chocolate kisses in the middle. Kawaii Squishies was in process of making her shortbread cookies. My husband's gonna be jealous of this one. Samantha made a freaking delicious cheesecake. Look at this rad cake by Chantepay. Din Din, those macaroons look gorgeous. Kawaii sure is in the kitchen. She made some cat crackers. Ooh, sweet fried bananas. Can I have that recipe? This week's question, guys. I wanna know what kind of fun, quirky things you have lying around your kitchen. Maybe some crazy artwork on the wall. Um, I happen to have these cute little salt and pepper shakers of little Sweeney Dog. They're super cute. So leave me your comments below or get a little creative and maybe make a video response of the quirky things or post a picture on my Facebook page. I am looking forward to it and I will see you next time for Cake Talk. Bye bye.